Okay, I decided for my inside back cover page, I'm going to do my little reverse waterfall technique because I just like it and it gives an opportunity for either larger pictures or just extra journaling or whatever you might want to put on them to go on there. So I have my three pages prepared and they're basically prepared the same way as the waterfall, but instead of stacking them where they would waterfall like this, I do, I cut the sizes different where they're all even here and then each one flips up. You'll understand it better when I get it glued together. I always start with a little base piece. So I'm going to glue down the first page. I cut this little base piece just a smidgen smaller than my width and the height I needed for three half inch sections to go on. And the reason I do that is I don't want, just making sure I have my top even, I don't want this piece to really show. It's just my mechanism for attaching the waterfall to the page. So that's the first page. Now I'll put the second page on and want to butt it right up against the first page hinge. Then I fold this over, make sure side to side I'm pretty well even. Give it a little extra press into place and then burnish it well. And then I open it up and burnish it again. And then now the last page of the waterfall. And actually, yeah, that'll still be okay because I've got enough of the, the lip there. Then let's fold it all up, make sure that it's even top to bottom. Then I want to open that back up, burnish that, open this up, burnish that well. Then there is the waterfall mechanism and it's going to go right there. And it's roughly little over a quarter of an inch top to bottom and closer to probably three quarters of an inch side to side. And then I put glue on the just the little piece that holds my pages together. I don't want to take a chance of that oozing much so I'll remove some of that and then just kind of eyeballing it and let's check that and that works so I want to press that into place press between each page well and I did do the, the little sponging around it and there's the back page done now you can go back if you wanted to add pattern paper to it you could take little strips of leftover pattern paper and just go down like one side to add a little color if you were going to actually use this and mount larger pictures on it then you might not want to put anything there so that nothing took away from the pictures and then you still have the pretty pattern paper on the back that still shows but you could mount a smaller let's see if i've got a little scrap here you could mount a little smaller piece that would either cover that hinge up or 
yeah, I would probably cover the hinge up. But I never do. I leave mine just like that. And so, and you don't have to do anything as a closure on those. That's what's nice about it. So, let me do a few little things to go in the pockets. And then I'll come back and do a little flip through. <music> 